Toto Wolf, Mercedes AMG Petronas team principal, has vowed to never allow a major conflict between his drivers to happen ever again. After the tensions between his two drivers Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg during the 2016 season, Wolf has promised to do everything in his power to ensure that it never happens again. He has stated he will be constantly monitoring the relationship between his drivers and intervening should the need arise. Wolf has also said he will be working closely with both Hamilton and Russell to ensure that the team remains successful and that there is no disruption in the team harmony. He has made it clear that the team will always come first and that any personal issues between the two drivers should be put aside for the benefit of the team. Wolf also promised to take a more hands-on role in managing the team and his drivers in the future. He has vowed to ensure the team remains at the forefront of the sport and that his drivers remain united in the pursuit of success. However, in the 2022 season and the 2023 season, situations have occurred that have caused friction between the two drivers that have a seat at Mercedes now. Is a new silver war imminent? I'm Wimbo, I'll give you 5 seconds to leave a like. Conflicting statements George Russell has beaten Lewis Hamilton in 2022. He scored 275 points over Hamilton's 240 points. He managed to get 5 fastest laps against Hamilton too. Hamilton blamed this on him taking the brunt of all the experiments for the team. This was widely believed to be true, until trackside engineer Andrew Shovelin and George Russell both came out with statements in various interviews. Shovelin explained that Lewis Hamilton was always prepared to go a step further and radical in setup. He assured us that the development items were shared over both cars, to share the pain of it. George Russell explained that because his car was in a much happier place for him, he didn't need to go to the same extremes as his teammate had to go to find performance. The development work would always get alternated from one week to the next. Another situation was when Lewis Hamilton claimed the team hadn't listened to him when they were deciding on whether to stick with the concept over the winter or not. Hamilton said he was against it. George Russell later revealed that everyone was on board, including his older teammate. I can imagine that Lewis Hamilton wasn't happy with his younger teammate exposing him this way. He no doubt would have preferred it if the information wasn't disclosed that way. On the surface, things seem okay. But I think these things can play a negative part in their relationship. Manipulative strategies Over the course of the season and the previous one, we've seen many cases where George Russell is proactively making up strategies that benefit his race. In the Monaco Grand Prix, we heard Russell requesting to be led by Hamilton to secure his position after he slid off track and gained a penalty by crashing into Perez when rejoining and later to have a go at Ocon. Obviously this idea wasn't put to Lewis Hamilton, but it shows to what length George will go to gain an advantage. At the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Russell was given a team order to let Lewis by, who was on the softer medium compound. As to attack Alonso, Russell protested and stalled until the hard tyres were in a better window and he was faster again. This shows how headstrong Russell can be. If he can find a way to wriggle himself out of a situation, he will. The biggest call George Russell made for himself was at the 2022 Dutch Grand Prix in Zandvoort. After Yuki Tsunoda caused a late safety car, after pitting with a problem, Valtteri Bottas caused another safety car not long after that. Verstappen immediately pitted for softs, rejoining in P3 behind Hamilton and Russell. The plan was for Russell to be a buffer between Lewis and the world champion. The safety car stayed on for a few laps, and just before it was about to be called in, Russell asked to be pitted too, leaving Hamilton in the lead on old tyres, and Verstappen right behind him on fresh softs. Sounds familiar. Verstappen blasted past Hamilton on the straight, leaving the seven-time world champion fuming. Matters got even worse when Leclerc and Russell passed him, so he finished only fourth. From everything I've heard about Hamilton, from old books and from his old teammates, this is something Hamilton won't easily forget. I can totally see a situation where a team order that would benefit Russell will be ignored. This most definitely won't improve their relationship. First contact. It's amazing to me that after 25 plus races, they have never collided, especially with the track record both drivers had last season and Russell this season. There have been fights between them on track 
and perhaps a dangerous move on the straight, but they have never wheel banked until the qualifying of the Barcelona Grand Prix. Russell had started a hot lap and Hamilton was right on his tail benefiting from a nice toe. When Russell was focused on passing a Ferrari on the inside, he never noticed his teammate trying to pass him on the outside. This is where they made contact with over 300 km per hour and it was just luck that Lewis only lost a wing end plate. There are pundits out there that believe George did it on purpose and got away lightly with a warning. I think it's a team mistake in the first place and then it's not nice for Lewis to overtake somebody who's on a hot lap knowing it would ruin his lap because you can't set a proper time with your teammate in front of your nose. With the upgrades on the W14 doing its job we can expect Mercedes to fight for more podiums and even wins if Verstappen gets into bother of some kind. There's a high chance that the gloves will come off between them then. All the grievance that has built up so far will come out and one will win and the other will have to lick his wounds. Metaphorically speaking of course. I know Lewis Hamilton can be a fierce rival even within the team. I read as much in the biography that Jensen Button wrote. The stories of what happened at the Mercedes camp during Nico Rosberg and Hamilton's time together are widely known too. I think so far the man from Stevenage has taken it easy, which shows that wisdom comes with age. I'm 45, so I would know. Now, this video may come across as very negative to George Russell, which is unfortunate because I actually really like him. I love the banter that he brings with his gentlemanly behavior and his funny team radios. He's just a competitive driver that wants to win a title. I just love the weather updates he keeps giving in 1960s language. Blimey! Crikey! Subscribe! Take care now! Doei doei!